it's 1.23 a.m. in the morning and I'm downloading uh, version 11 uh, of my FSD in my Tesla. Hey everyone, um, yesterday I received my version 11 update for Tesla FSD and it's a huge news, um, especially for Canada. I'm in Canada in Kelowna. Version 10 was not ideal on the public streets of Kelowna. Uh, it was not bad, but it was definitely struggling with bad crazy traffic and stuff like that uh, narrow streets uh, Canadian laning probably was a big thing as well so yeah I'm going to test it out uh, and I hope fingers crossed it will do well also I took a picture of uh, the what's new uh, section for this update I'll put it somewhere on the screen just right here you can pause the video read it if you're interested and yes now you know all the details So yeah, it's a gorgeous day today, very sunny and uh, well, uh, everything is very visible. So I'll try to engage my autopilot from here and there is uh, down the street, there is a uh, there is a turn to the right, which is a little bit tricky for the autopilot. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and we're going. Absolutely gorgeous day. It always slows down here uh, and it is waiting for the cars uh, and it always a little bit weird because there is no stop sign and if somebody is behind me people just think what what the hell is he doing is there is a car or anything so there is a first turn and it's always tricky because we have bush uh, on the left and behind the bush uh, there is a road yeah it's pretty good we're going down Okay, this is the first left turn, uh, nothing super complicated, but early version 10, uh, the early version 10 was struggling with it a lot, uh, version 11 is a little bit more confident about it, but cars, uh, there were no cars in the way, so we'll see how it goes. So from this point of time, my microphone for some reason died and everything that I got from the footage is a road hum. So from this point of time, I will be commenting on all events that make sense to comment on to explain what is going on, if it makes sense. And now we come in close to the intersection where the car behaved like a little bit weirdly. Um, so it initially took uh, a wrong lane that was turning left and then at the end it corrected itself but then uh, uh, while it was uh, on the intersection it took the right lane instead of the left one which was correct it cannot do that and then it changed it back to the left one because down the road in a couple of blocks it needs to turn to the left and I think it it just thought that it's probably a better decision to take the left lane because it's easier to turn to the left from the left lane, I guess. Okay, it sees people on the right and we start moving. And here I must say, probably because of the wide angle of the camera, it's not really obvious, but it starts accelerating very, very, very incredibly slow. It's kind of weird and like if you ask me does it bother people behind, I don't know. I didn't notice anything. Nobody yelled at me and I'm trying not to bother people at any time when I drive. I'm trying to be like responsible as I can. But this thing feels like really awkward at the time. 
so I, I really hope that they will change it uh, or fix somehow because this feels just not right. And there is another intersection that I consider as very simple. It's a T-shaped intersection with the main road up ahead and our road going there uh, turns to the left to the right and there is a small um, entrance to the park. I didn't expect any upcoming traffic from there but there is suddenly a car and Tesla uh, just freezed in the middle of the intersection. Uh, for the white camera it's not really obvious but when you sit in the car and you feel it, it felt really awkward. Um, so uh, it was the first uh, like real disappointment of uh, V11 because I expected better left turns first of all because it was the biggest problem of V10 it just didn't work in Kelowna at all because the traffic is really bad here eventually it would do that but you would piss off all people behind your car so Here soon car should turn to the left. I think streets like that are not a problem at all for FSD. Uh, it handles them well and uh, even uh, the version 10 was really really good about handling these kind of streets and these kind of left turns so on these kind of streets we just went around the truck. Yeah, it's just, it's just good. Here I have no any comments about the behavior I think it's just it's just great yeah yeah and uh, now I'm I'm changing the address uh, just to go to another place um, so we started moving and there is a stop sign and we came first and there is a red car and the guy is like what the heck are you doing and I pressed the acceleration pedal here because my Tesla just didn't want to go no matter what. It just stopped there and the guy's looking at me and he's like, huh? for sure. So I press the acceleration pedal there. Guilty. Uh, again, uh, I don't like this extra careful behavior. I know it's for safety, but it doesn't add safety. It adds some uh, awkwardness. And this one actually turn was really, really good because I had uh, like a gap, like a very small gap on the left and the uh, very small gap on the right, you can see the car coming up and it just squeezed in between of two cars without cutting them off. And this is really great. This is a great timing and this turn impressed me a lot. It's a good turn. Here is another intersection and uh, here um, again um, this kind of super careful uh, behavior it feels so awkward so uh, the car goes uh, forward and it just freezes in the middle of intersection so I pressed here an acceleration pedal just to make it move somehow for me as a human driver I just see that there are no cars no upcoming traffic whatsoever and Tesla I, I think it just doesn't see any upcoming traffic and decides to wait just in case and it it just not working well uh, for the left turns not really great uh, behavior I, I don't like it genuinely it's just <sighs> it bugs me out so okay this is it this is the end of the video if you find it enjoyable or entertaining or maybe even useful consider pressing the like button because it would help uh, YouTube algorithms uh, uh, to
to uh, read to uh, um uh, I th um 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 thing um what am I talking about? <sighs> anyway, so. Uh, my conclusion about FSD. I think that FSD is great, but it is improving very, very slow. And I think this update is more of an incremental thing rather than a leap forward. So if you expect a lot from this update, I would say that don't, uh, because it feels like some things are a little bit better. Some things are pretty much the same, I would say. Uh, I think because they have a single stack right now and like every software it needs tuning because when you merge big parts of code together you get a lot of bugs that you need to fix that you need to tune and stuff like that so i think that the tesla team is doing that right now and it will improve over time i'm probably more more of a disappointed than happy with the build that we got and I, I really hope for improvement over time. So this is my opinion. Probably it's a little bit too harsh, uh, but it's because I want to make this product better. But at the same time, we always can wish for more, right? So yeah, again, thank you for watching and see you in another video. Bye. So there we were beneath the burning sky, both had reason to live but so much more to die who we'll fate to side who has to go oh oh we both know pain but we deal it too or who's dealt more well i leave that up Now free